we would like to demonstrate what a family meeting might look like. Uh, we're the Linker family and several tools uh, that are advocated by Positive Discipline we would hope to show you today. Some of those tools are connection before correction, joint problem solving, brainstorming, focusing on solutions, affirmations, effective communication. A lot of tools can be absorbed in a family meeting so if you have not started your own family meeting hopefully this will inspire you uh, based on what we do today. At the beginning of each uh, weekly family meeting. We start with appreciations. Uh, we have a talking stick and that's selected beforehand. We have two children. One child will choose the talking stick while the other one chooses who goes first in the appreciations. And in our family unit, since there's only four of us, we take the time to appreciate one another, not just choosing one person to appreciate each time. So I will appreciate the other three members of my family and then each person will appreciate the other three members of the family. I appreciate the last couple of weeks watching you do such a good job of playing and being creative in your mind with your toys and your babies and the ways in which you do such a good job. You do such a good job with all of them and you have a good job using your mind to create some really fun times with your toys. Good job. How good I am in gymnastics? Mm, maybe next time I'll appreciate watching you in gymnastics. That's possible, yes. Okay, let's talk about our weeks, shall we? Um, tonight, activities at Paznaz, basketball practice, right? We then move from appreciations to calendaring. We're talking about our week. I don't know how it is for you, but in our family, uh, especially our son, loves to know what's coming next. And so special appointments, or someone else picking him up from school that might be different from the routine. It's really important that he knows ahead of time and can plan in advance instead of springing it on him last minute. Mommy wants to bring up something that's it's been kind of bugging me, so I'm gonna use my bugs and wishes, okay? And then maybe we can help, you can help me solve the problem. It bugs Mommy when um, you two want to copy each other a lot. And I, be pesky. Well, yeah, when you want to copycat. And it's frustrating me, and I would really like your help solving it. After the calendaring time happens in our family meeting, then we move from that into either solving an issue that's been on our family agenda, and that's where my husband and I connect beforehand, so we're on the same page about what solving problem we're, we're trying to solve, or an agreement that we're trying to make with the kids. Or it may be just a time that you plan something fun, an activity an opening in your week the next weekend and so you want to just take that time to block out and brainstorm together how you want to spend your time. In this role play in our family meeting we solved an issue. One of you ends up doing what? Pouting. Pouting, getting mad, and then one of you gets mad, the other one kind of tries to tell tells um, the other person. Pouting. Mom, Dad! So we need your help. What could we do to solve this problem? Do you have any ideas how we could solve it? Yes, Kaisley. As nicely, uh, if you ask nicely several times, then you can go tell. I brought the issue to the family and then asked for some help. And the first step was to brainstorm some solutions, then to agree upon some of those solutions, and then to come up with a time that it will take place, and then some consequences when that agreement is broken so that there's some accountability and, and then being flexible to know that probably next week when we have our family meeting, if that issue still persists, there is time to go back and say, well, this is our agreement, let's reevaluate it, it didn't work, or let's tweak it this way and see if that happens. I asked it nicely, but he didn't listen then. The parent will come and work it out with you and then they will stop. Okay, that's where mommy gets frustrated because I don't want to have to come and help you. I want you to figure it out for yourself. So that's why I need but to help. I tried. Listen, okay, listen. Mimi, that's fine. I know, that's why I'm trying to have another idea. Like what if you just closed your mouth and you didn't say anything so that he couldn't copy you? Or what if you closed your mouth and didn't say anything for a while so she couldn't copy you? Do <laughs> you think that would work? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ignoring? Yeah. Okay. If you guys do all of those things and they don't work and then you start fighting, and we've told you to try and work it out, it hasn't happened. What should be a consequence for that? What would be a good one that you're willing to? Uh, like, do we not have screen time? Do we put toys away? Do we, do we, what are some? Clean your bedroom. Yeah, I mean, make sure that you're doing, the, an, do a, an extra chore. Don't have screen time the rest of the day. Okay, so an option would be not having screen time the rest of the day. Or, or you could not have screen time for 
Six days. Whoa, Ooh, that's a well, big one. We can list that, that's a long time. Yeah, sure, not having screen time. So how about we just have a list of consequences that you choose if it doesn't happen, which would be no screen time for the rest of the day, or cleaning your room if it's not clean, or what else? Or not having screen time for six days. Oh, that's a good option. That's a long time. But you can try it. Uh, when can it start? How about yesterday? Yes, it started yesterday. Okay, good. So that means it starts now? Yeah, yeah. So from now on, if there's copying going on and you can't solve it yourselves, there'll be consequences, and you guys get to choose from those three consequences. Uh, okay. Does that sound fair? You'll yeah. see. Yeah, All right. fine. So for our closing activity, we're going to go get some ice cream. Does that sound fun? Yeah. Yes. And then we always close our family meeting with something fun to do, either playing a game or making a dessert or going to dessert. Then we always close in prayer. So it kind of moves from the dining room to the living room, uh, right into bedtime. But this is something that's really important to us and that we keep uh, weekly committed to in hopes that when our kids are in their adolescence or teenage years that it becomes so important to them that they would rather be with us during that family meeting time than trying to make plans with their friends. Uh, it, so we just value it and feel like it's such a good model to instill these life skills of problem solving and making agreements and talking mutually respectful to one another and connecting, uh, most importantly, and affirming and speaking truth into each other's lives.